that was the scariest ride I think I've ever had. Um, we were trying to make it to Calais, about two and a half hours out, it's pitch black, it started pouring down for the last 10 miles on the motorway, just scared the shit out of me. We want to be home by tomorrow lunchtime in the UK. Oh, we've just got a long, long way to go. We don't know how far we're going to go until we just get tired and then obviously um, book into a hotel. Mark's hoping sort of only a couple of hours from Calais. So tomorrow we can just have two hour drive Calais and then from Folkestone home. Hotel was like a dirty old travel lodge, but it's 50 quid. Breakfast, atrocious. What can you expect, 50 quid? Room is white, you know what? Probably the best night's sleep I've had since I've been here. The dirty hotel did all right. Head bike warm up. Heading for them mountains, hopefully. We've got a bit of nice road to Smong in. And then we've got a day of payage. Sun's out though. It's nothing like that first day of rain, hopefully. We want to get home tomorrow. So we've got to put some miles in today. But the first bit of this journey, hopefully the first hour or so, is going to be um, nice roads. Not looking forward to all the motorways, but um, this bike definitely eats the motorway miles. It's, it's a nice bike to do motorways on, especially these payages. Um, they're never busy really, only if you're going right around the edge of a city or something. They've been quiet, you can motor on at 80 mile an hour. But this is lovely start to the day. I mean, the first day we were here, we had all the rain. It was a hard day in the rain. It's always harder. Definitely makes it like an endurance test. Beautiful sight, there mountains ahead. So we're still in the National Park area. Um, I think it's National Park de Mercantour. Some of the roads yesterday were absolutely fantastic. What's nice is they were, they were going through like a valley through the mountains, following the river and the railway line. Um, so you're just kind of surrounded by mountains all day, but they were big, fast roads. You had quite a few lorries here and there, and the, and the lorries really motor along, I think, because they're just trying to keep their speed up so when they get to the hills, they can make it up. Um, so the lorries are kind of hard to overtake because they were kind of maxing out the speed limit. <clears throat> and the French are notorious for giving you a ticket for speeding, so we've been pretty good. I've noticed most people aren't speeding. They just seem to be right on the button. So I've kind of done the same most of the time, unless I can really see a nice bit of open road, but there's a few hidden cameras around. The French roads have just been fantastic. I think overall the French roads are so well maintained, or all the ones we've done, have been fantastic. Yeah, as someone who's really new to using um, SatNav or Google Maps, I've only ever started using it about a year ago, but I don't know how I've ever done without it. Finding your way around cities, I used to be hours in cities but, um, and big places, but now I can't turn the thing off. Um, it's so handy. And even on the country roads, it just I love it. I love the fact it lets you know when all the hairpins are coming up, what way they're going to be, whether there's a traffic jam ahead, road works, speed cameras. We're so lucky um, living, I mean, I know there's really shit things about the day and age we live in, but there are a lot, a lot of really good things. And as much crap as the internet's brought, it has brought a lot of good as well. Um, but yeah, it does make driving around new places really easy, especially cities. But um, yeah, how lucky are we with all these gadgets and stuff we got, like even using your phone, booking a hotel, it's so easy nowadays. It makes you wonder. <laughs> you know, I guess in the old days you just drove around until you saw somewhere. Well you did, I know you did, I did it. I'm old! Quite funny going from one end to the other, being in the Pyrenees and then suddenly being down near the Italian border and the Swiss border and you've got the Alps in the background. The beauty of Europe though, you can 
get to so many places so quickly. You can be in four or five countries in a day. So many stunning houses up here as well. It makes you wonder who lives up here, what they do and all these beautiful places. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right on the left hairpins. It's the right ones that always do me. I'm shit at going right. I'm like Zoolander. I can't turn right. I do the pout though. Left. Love them. All day long. Give me the lefts. Just got to keep going left.
in this gorgeous little baker's where the guy was just making all the bread and yeah. Look at my croissant, I've got apricot. What have you got, Mark? Oh, but I've nearly eaten it, it's beautiful. Pumpkin and chocolate, I think it was. Mm. Just look like, you know, people that know what they're doing. Um, yeah, lovely. France, everywhere you go, uh, just literally off of the motorways, not like just like a little slip road. You just get like look, picnic areas, um, little play area for kids, toilets, everything's always like really clean. You know, just literally just one slip road off. Some of them have got a petrol station, 
Um, look, look how far away, yeah? Things. Just very well catered if you've got a picnic and you want to stop. Not often in the UK you have to sort of ride miles up of the motorway. But in here it was only just here. Today uh, we left at eight, eight in the morning. It's now four o'clock, maybe. We were doing mountain miles. Beautiful start to the day with lovely miles, country roads, following the river. Um, the last couple of hours, last maybe three, four hours, been on motorways, ARs. Uh, we were. We've got today and tomorrow to get home, but we might be going today now. Just dying to see the girls now. And uh, tomorrow it looks like rain, so we might try and just do the long haul. We said 10 hours to Calais when we left this morning. We've got 4 hours 20 minutes left. Let's see how we feel. If I get tired, we'll pull over, but um, we might try and do it. Uh, if we get to Calais, stop and have something to eat. We can pull this off, I reckon. I think I've ever had. Um, we were trying to make it to Calais, about two and a half hours out, it's pitch black, it started pouring down, couldn't see anything. 
last half hour just hung on the back of a lorry the only way I could see where I was going and in the end it, it, my goggles were missing up so I just pulled over into an air and I was going to just bed down for the night on the street get the bike cover out but Lisa weren't too keen so we just looked on Google Maps found a hotel another 10 miles away but the last 10 miles on the motorway just scared the shit out of me Goggles missing up, pitch black, cars coming up behind us 100 mile an hour, didn't know we were only going 60. It's frightening, but we're here, we found a hotel, made it safely, that was scary as We've been here about 15 minutes in the room talking about that ride. Lisa, I had to carry up the two big endure stand bags Lisa had to carry a GoPro bag Go GoPro bag with like grand's worth of GoPros and stuff in it and the drone so she's got two little small bags about a thousand pound in each so we're in here 15 minutes and just realise that Lisa's left them both in the hall that's what she'll do she'll leave them in the hall luckily they were still there there you go so tired, I've got scrambled egg and poached egg. Go figure that. Didn't even know till I sat down. So yeah, last night sitting in bed and I was trying to think why them goggles missed it up and I put on a balaclava when we got cold in the last hour. Um, put on a balaclava under my helmet, which I sometimes do if it gets cold, but I don't think I've used it in the rain before sides of the balaclava protrude around the front of the helmet they got soaked which then the foam around the inside of the goggles soaked in that water and that's what happened that's why we had a nightmare that's why well, it was a nightmare anyway but that's what made it impossible because the inside of the goggles were missing up i was lifting them and the rain was pelting my eyes my eyeballs which made it impossible and like I say, I try, I just called it in the end and said, we've got to pull over. I wouldn't have done that last 10 minutes drive if I'd known how bad, bad it was going to be. Because when we pulled back on, we found a hotel 10 minutes away. So we said, F it, let's go for it. Come down the slip road, put the goggles back on, missed it before I even got off the slip road. Couldn't see where the slip road joined the motorway. Luckily, no cars were coming on the payage. Um, there was one a long way off, he was flying up and we, we were only doing 50 and they caught up so quick because they're doing like 90. And he's flashing us because I think he just thought we were going so slow. Um, he just swerved around us, but what a nightmare. And we got off and found a hotel and everything was happy to ever after. There she is this morning. Just took the cover off. Put the cover on last night. I felt so sorry for her sitting there in the rain. She done so well. She done so well yesterday. Lisa done well last night. She never moaned once yesterday. 14 hours on the bike, putting up with this. And that last, or even all that rain, she never ever moaned. She looked worried when I said about sleeping on the street under a bike cover. She did look worried, but she, she weren't even moaning then. She just tried to talk me round out of it. I'm glad she did. We made it to the hotel, but that was fucking dangerous. But um, here we go. Better day to day. Hopefully it stays dry.
no, all day. It was all blue sky. Luckily, it didn't rain. But how cold? What was the temperature, Liz? Four. Four. I don't know why it was that cold. I and mean, we spent the whole day coming across France, and I think it was about thirteen. But we. Even how long did that hour and a half feel? Just forever. I just thought I don't know how his hands are working because I, I don't know thought... how my hands are working. They've warmed up now. You got your coffee. Yeah. Oh, that was cold, wasn't it? Yeah. Imagine if it had rained this morning. Cried. No wonder it was cold. It was four degrees. For sake. We didn't even look at the temperature. It was cold. Okay, girl. And you've got two passport controls open. Je m'appelle Mark. I think we're the only bike on the train. It's really dragged this morning. In. The queue to get on the trains just taken forever. They had two things open, two little windows. But on the good side, it ain't raining. It's cold, but it is sunny. So I'll take that. Hopefully, I think it's supposed to be raining in England, but you never know till you get there, really. Don't believe the weather, man. Let it be sunny. I think we're the only bike on the train. There was two um, Hells Angels on the previous train, but there ain't no one on this one. Way to eat St. Nights. We've had way too many burgers on this holiday. We've not had enough time to cook nice food. But I feel like today I want a roast dinner. I know it's only Saturday, but I feel a roast dinner coming on. Light the fire. Apple pie and custard. Roast beef, Yorkshire puddings, English mustard, carrots and ginger. Je m'appelle Marc. Où est Toiletta? <laughs> Was où est? Is this right? I was right. Où est de Toiletta? Please listen carefully to the following safety information. 